This is the GAC Weekly presented by the Great American Conference. I'm Joey McWilliams. The Learfield Cup standings came out this week and at the top of the listing for the GAC were the Oklahoma Baptist Bison. The Bison finished number 50 overall in the Learfield Cup standings and Oklahoma Baptist knows a thing or two about finishing high in that ranking. The Bison won the NAI Learfield Directors Cup trophy three consecutive years to close out their time in the NAI before making the transition to Division II. The Oklahoma Baptist had 349 points overall, and that included top point getters, women's track and field, women's tennis, women's golf, as well as the baseball team. To baseball, where, of course, Southern Arkansas, obviously among those being talked about, in the GAC, well, the Mule Riders had two players drafted in the recent Major League Baseball draft. The Cincinnati Reds used their 19th pick or 19th round pick to take junior right-hander Nick Starr, while the Philadelphia Phillies selected Mule's, Mule Riders junior right-hander Eric White in the 26th round. To tennis now, we move over to the ITA, the International Tennis Association. All America honors were handed out and a pair of doubles tandems from the GAC garnered those honors, including Southeastern men Carlos Anez and Andred Nise, as well as Oklahoma Baptist women Katarina Scott and Kim Moosbacher. And for Oklahoma Baptist, the Lady Bison tennis team, that was the first time on the NCAA Division II level in which Lady Bison had been honored with All-America status. We talked a little bit earlier this week about the GAC and a loss to the GAC family as Arkansas Monticello coach Alvy Early passed away on Monday. Well, also passing away on Monday, a number, another member of the GAC coaching family, and that is Coach Nick Keith from Southeastern. Coach Keith amassed 402 wins in his 24-year career as the head coach of the Southeastern women's basketball team. His team had national runner-up finishes three times, twice in the NAI in 1995 and 1996, coming up just one point short to Southern Nazarene in each of those tournaments. And in 2002, a magical run, a Cinderella team that made it all the way to the national championship game, coming up short to Cal Poly Pomona. Uh, that was in 2002. I had the opportunity to work with Coach Keith uh, on a personal level, getting to cover Southeastern during his uh, last years as the head coach there up through 2005. Also, Coach Keith uh, was the head coach, or I actually attended Southeastern, right in the middle of his head coaching tenure at Southeastern from 89 to 93. And I will tell you that it was a pleasure to get to, to cover Coach Keith, to get to watch him on the sideline, to get to watch the way that he handled himself and took care of his players and the man that he was, and his presence is indeed uh, felt, the loss of his presence at Southeastern and in Durant. And we mourn the passing of another coach here in the GAC, Coach Nick Keith from Southeastern. This has been the GAC Weekly. The GAC Weekly is presented by the Great American Conference. To hear this and more about the GAC and other high school and college sports, Please visit oklahomasports.net and arkansasports.net and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Search up youtube.com and go to Midwest Sports Net. For the GAC Weekly, I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching.